So here is my uh, ring doorbell. So this is the bracket for Yuffie doorbell camera and it looks almost close but this one is a little bit taller. I hope the the screw, the hole is on the same uh, side so that same height so that I don't have to drill again. Otherwise it's going to be an issue for me of course, right? Yeah. I wish I can use this um, the wedge mount because it's slightly bigger than this one, 15 degree, maybe more than 15 degree, right, this one. But yeah, let's see how if this hole matches with this one. So uh, what I figured out is that uh, the UV camera won't fit with your ring um, doorbell, so I need to take it out and drill it again. So that's the most tough part it's going to be, but I'll try my best here. Let me take this out, okay? And you can see the connections are all the way here, so I don't have to install all those wires. But drilling is the toughest part, and this is 12 volt drill machine, so I don't think it will handle the, the brick. Okay, this plate does good because it has a bubble on it. So I wish Yuffie also creates this type of uh, bracket so that uh, we will know that whether it's you know properly straightened or not. Okay, I can use the first one uh, either this one or, or that one, you know. Like whatever uh, I can use it even there's one more so this was for the mechanics on this was for the ring and now if he has a different position so definitely okay this is the guide for your UV here you take this out take this out okay so now it's all up to me whether I should use the, the bottom one but if I use the bottom one uh, for this one, it will the, the the wires will be inside this bracket, right? So I need to use the top one for for its on its own, and then bottom I need to drill it different holes. Oh, this does handle it. Might not be much, but let's see. So this should be okay. The guide now I can. Simply drill it. Oh, it did work. 12 volt drill did work on the brick. Make sure you keep spraying water, otherwise, you might overheat the drill bit and this might break. Okay, so keep spraying the water. This drill bit did survive. I was not thinking that it will help me to drill that brick, the four inch brick, right? So this is 12 volt Bosch lithium ion. So my battery was full charge now. There's two more lights in there. So other drill bit made uh, enough holes to fit the anchor, but inside it's a little bit small hole. That's why I need to use the bigger drill bit so that it fits properly, okay? That's a little bit loose, but see, it won't come out. Once you screw on it, it will be okay. So, so far so good. I was thinking that it might take 30, 45 minutes. So I thought this drill uh, might not work for to make a hole here. So I thought of buying the electric one as well, but thank God I just tried to see if it works or not, but it did work within short period of time. And uh, with the full charge, only one, um, we, I still have two, two still left, the two lights are still here right up, right? So uh, yeah, it only took me like 15, 20 minutes. That's not bad. So first you have to put the wedge and then the bracket here. But this one just goes inside it and it locks out, okay? So make sure you are putting this side up. If you're facing this way, on the other side, this one is still face up so that you install like that. All right, let me do that. And they have provided you uh, two long screws and three I have three long screws and two small ones, so definitely use the two long ones. And yeah, maybe we yeah, can leave it there. Make sure it doesn't touch each other. I'll face this towards the other side here. Okay. That's how you install the mount, and this will definitely 
fit like that but we need to set the uh, the door wheel first uh, and then i will bring it over here to install okay all right guys so uh, as you have already seen that i have already installed the wall mount or the wedge the 15 degree angle wedge so now it's time to do a setup and my battery has already been full charged so let me install that and we will follow the instructions as well uh, and then i'll show you how it works okay let me install the application first the application is the eufy uh, security apps just go to play store or app stores or whatever uh, you have for the android just go to google play store for the apple you can simply go to app stores and search for eufy uh, security and search okay eufy security by anchor you see here just press install and let's uh, wait until installation so the app has been installed let's open the app here all right, the home management, I'll just a uh, yeah, new interface design, security report, you can see everything and simply skip that part. And first of all, you need an email and password for that. Um, I also have a UV uh, clean for the vacuum. I don't know if the same email address will work here, okay? Or you can simply sign up and then select your location here. And then you can simply put your email and password and then you can you should be able to sign up. So basically, if you have any other UFI product, and then it will, the same username and password will work. So I had the um, UFI Clean, I, I created an account for the UFI Clean, and uh, that same account worked for the UFI Security app as well, okay? So you can use the same app. So accept the terms and condition. Uh, please go to app permission, app notification, allow the notification to enable. Yeah, I will just uh, enable the notification because I need to know. Allow, enable fingerprint login, definitely you can enable if you wish okay now hit next next got it okay so now you will see blank here right now you need to set a um, add a device here and then choose your uh, devices from here okay whatever devices you have simply choose your home base we can install the home base later as well here there's a home base in here right so we will install this in a minute now let's do the professional camera wired camera the video doorbell so we do have an option here video doorbell simply tap on it and there's a video doorbell battery powered 1080p video doorbell slim uh, doorbell 2e video doorbell 2k video doorbell 2k chime and there's a video doorbell wired uh, video doorbell dual wired video doorbell dual video doorbell dual battery power so s330 and doorbell s340 okay so it does mention here it's a battery powered but it's both right it works as a battery as well as the um, the wired so there's an already an options here and it does tell you here video doorbell dual s330 and video doorbell e340 so it works with both simply tap on that and the um i'll add on the same home if your app needs to request your camera permission to scan the qr code okay while using the app and there is a qr code on the camera here on the bottom here simply you point that camera to your doorbell and it will simply ask you to allow a location so while using an app i'll just allow that then you need to enter your um wi-fi you want the camera to connect okay simply enter password of your wi-fi and it will only work uh, select a 2.4 gigahertz uh, wi-fi so make sure you select um only select the wi-fi which has a 2.4 gigahertz okay so hit next press button. the sync button until you hear the beep okay it asks you to press the sync button until you hear the beep let me install the battery here and then uh, we'll press this sync button here okay so it has to go from here all right now press uh sync button for two seconds okay let me enter okay i heard the beep press heard beep and then it will generate a qr code for the wi-fi connection please use the doorbell to scan the code on your phone simply press ok it will generate a qr code for you and then simply i'll show you here connecting to the wi-fi network please wait all right so it does say it's connecting to the wi-fi network so you're supposed to hear beeps for that okay connecting to the wi-fi keep camera close to the router okay almost the size of my galaxy s22 ultra the tall right it's a little bit shorter than that fail to connect to the network please try again press the sync button until you hear the beep to the wi-fi network please wait setup was successful all right so it has been successful hit next here and then give your adorable name i'll say outdoor i'll say front door not the outdoor front door 
hit next. So already got a notification saying that the micro SD card has been formatted successfully, okay? Hit next, doorbell is offline. I don't know why it is off. Okay, now it asked me to update the firmware. So this will optimize support free recording. If connect to home base, it needs home base version support, optimize low temperature notification, optimize human detection, packet detection, optimize infrared night vision mode, optimize Wi-Fi connection performance. Let's update that. So it's currently updating the firmware. So it will last about three minutes. Get done. Next. So uh, is there a traditional wire doorbell button at your front door, which voltage is eight to 24 volt AC? Yes, I want door use it to power the doorbell constantly. Okay, no, I don't have an existing doorbell wiring, so I don't want to bother wiring. So I do have a wire, so I'm gonna choose the first one, follow the installation process. Do you want to use your existing chime? Please make this selection carefully based on your doorbell wiring. So I'm not going to use the existing chime. I just hit no in there. And here, indoor and outdoor and indoor, verify the doorbell wires are working. And remove the existing doorbell button at the front door. Pull the two wires out carefully when removing the old doorbell straight in the wire ends. I've already done that. So, so there's a there's a video on it. So you can simply do that. Uh, it asks you to switch off the power of the home. Uh, definitely be careful with that and also suppress the uh, existing chime. So I don't want to do that for now. I don't want to touch that for now and uh, detach the original doorbell button and then simply you put a positioning card and drill that. I've already shown you that, right? So definitely I've completed that. Do you need a 15 degree wedge? Of course, yes, I installed that. And screw mount this, need anchors. Uh, do you need anchors? I've already put the anchors in there. If you have wood wall, definitely you don't need that. Um, and use the included screw, use the um, included screw on that, charge and reinsert the battery, I did that. Install the mounting bracket, I did that. And then this time you have to connect the doorbell wires to the doorbells, definitely. Connect the wires to the terminal at the back of the door, then tighten the terminal. The screw wire can connect uh, to any terminal as the electric current is alternating current. If the doorbell uh, wires are too short, use the provided extension wires, okay? And simply mount that and turn on your panel start now okay your transfer is not capable of power up the doorbell so that's what it says but i have to connect this to front first uh, to see it yeah it is right now it's it's alerting me it, it's detecting the the video here as you can see i have to connect this to front first uh, to see it wow even even if this was placed like that right it's still detecting me um and then uh, sending me notifications here events and I already see the events here. So it already sent me an event. Just to try. You can imagine how wide the camera is because even if it's facing downwards, it's still detecting me uh, like that, you know, it's still getting me my footage from that. You can either delete the video or download it, whatever you want to do it. Okay, here you can go live view from here. View from here. View from here. So I'm just going to mute my uh, audio for, for the uh, phone here. As you can see, I need to request your microphone permission to re-talk uh, while using the app. Hello. 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 So yeah, this is how it, it works. And there's an options here uh, where, uh, how you want it to see. It's full screen. Okay. So when you go to full screen here, right, then you have an options for the bottom camera. So how, how you want to use the bottom camera here. Simply press this one. Either you want to use the picture in picture for the main camera or picture in picture for the, the bottom camera like that. Okay. And uh, you can also manually turn the lights on. As you can see, the lights are on the top and the bottom here, the top and the bottom, and you can turn that off. And there's also a quick response. Uh, you can also send that manually while you are uh, watching your video. We will be right there. That's good. Quick reply. Excuse me, can I help you? Cool. Please leave it at the door. That's nice. And you can record this video if you want to record while you're talking to your... Uh, there's also a spotlight. You can see it's lighting up. It's good for the uh, nighttime as well. All right, so uh, let's do um, installation outside. I'm going to stop this recording and uh, let's install this outside and we'll see uh, how it looks like. And we'll also try to 
uh, set this up and then uh, see if the since there's a speaker underneath and this also works as a your security alarm system so you should be able to get the uh, ring from here uh, the chime from here as well okay okay now let me install this just open up the screws All right, now you just need to tug your wire inside properly, otherwise it will be tough for you. Still, still not good. Looks good. I'll press the doorbell here. Okay, it's like few second delay here. Once I tap in there. So I'm just recording from here. I don't know how the sound will be as you can here and let me know what you think about it you can see you can see the half of my footage here from the top to bottom so with my crocs on you can see it here so let me um, go that side and um, let me come from the street side and see how far I haven't set up anything yet so how far it will detect okay, it's a little bit windy here not sure how the audio is coming out there okay so let me come from the street so I'm recording myself here so I'm a little bit far away from my, my camera so I'm gonna walk in and once I start seeing my camera now I'll let you know okay I see the camera I already put this no motion detection in there so I'm right in front of my pathway here so far I haven't received any notifications here right okay right there a little bit delayed uh, notifications here so I got here it was a little bit delayed, not sure if it starts recording, but it does restart recording, yes, from the far away. So you can see that, right? Okay. Right there. So it's a little bit, let me, a little uh, bit delayed uh, notifications here. So let me press my doorbell and I, let's see if I hear that chime, okay? I don't hear any chime. I don't hear the chime. Yeah, not sure how you set up here. If I go to settings of this camera, home disconnections, continue. After connecting, new recording will restore. Okay, so I connected here next. Okay, so I need to connect. Uh, I need to connect this to my camera, the doorbell as well then only it should be able to do that, right? So let's see. Keep your home disconnected to the network during the entire setup process. Keep your door. Okay, this is added successfully. Maybe now it will work. Earlier it was not um, connected with each other. So now it says added, but it's this is still going on. Okay, the successful, the camera is connected to the home base. Now it press done. Now I'm hoping the chime will work, okay? Let's stay here. You hear it? You have to uh, go to your camera and go to settings on the camera and then simply tap on home base connection or home base options so that you need to connect home base with your camera. So whatever camera you install here, you need to add a home base on your camera. So just go to settings and add the home base. That way, all the footage will install here as well. Um, and uh, also it will work as a alarm or the chime. So if I go back to home base now, there should be one archive. Maybe it's not there. Maybe I need to, there are no USB drive detector okay once i start adding the hard drive it should work 
Um, but for now, um, it just will work as a chime. So that's great. Uh, I don't have to buy a separate chime, right? That's that's pretty cool. All right, guys, let me know what you think about this product. I did buy this on Black Friday, not a sponsored video, okay? Um, Black Friday for with the bundle. So I also have this camera for the solar charging. Um, it's also a UFI, so this will. I was just waiting for this home base, new home base, to work with all of the camera at all. Uh, previous home base would not work with the wired doorbell that's why i didn't purchase i waited for this and i even didn't unbox this so i'll unbox this and we'll also set this up and then we'll connect with the home base as well and all the footage will go in there so i'll need to install the hard drive on it and then i should be able to good to go with this i'll come up with another video for this if you want to uh, check the price please check the link in the description below i'll place the link in there uh, let me know what you think about this and let me know what else you want to see uh, from this product until then, I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.